Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how I built a hot tub control panel. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so normally hot tubs are controlled by spa packs. So the spa packs come from the popular manufacturers like Balboa or Gecko, and they have all of the features from setting the temperature on the hot tub to controlling your jets, controlling your air blowers, purge cycles, filter cycles, and pretty much everything in between. So why on earth did I build a control panel for a hot tub? Well, the type of hot tub that my customer Darren is building doesn't lend itself to a traditional spa pack. The reason being is he has a circulation system, the heating for the, for the actual hot tub is best part of 60 to 70 feet away. Now we know that that's not great for our jets, so he's got a secondary control room next to the hot tub and you can see this behind me here that will house his swim jet his bubbler pump his jet pump and air blower as well now if we wanted to control this by a spa pack we'd have to either have the spa pack in the location right next to the tub and then run extremely long cables out to the pool pad where the pool pump that's going to do the circulation and heating is there or we'd have to do it the other way and have the spa pack on the pool pad and then loads of cables going power cables control cables going up 60 70 feet to the hot tub it was going to get messy so what we've decided is we're going to do a more it's more commercial spa approach. So what you find with a commercial spa, if you go to a, a health club, for example, is you would start a commercial spa with an air button. This is an air button and you simply push the button on top. It sends a blast of air down the tubing. It sends it to a latching air switch and that then connects it's it's just like a relay it connects the power and it would turn the device on so this approach is what we're going to take for darren spa so enter my control panel okay so what i've got here is i've got my air switch inputs on the the base here and you can see that there's an air switch for the bubblers there's an air switch for the blower and there's an air switch here for the hot tub jets. So those three buttons will be connected by those air tubes up to the, the top of the, the actual hot tub. Now, inside of here, I've got a series of wires here, uh, reasonably well organized, uh, and they have we've got an input on the, is it right-hand side? I guess it is the, the right-hand side as we're looking at this video. So we're gonna have our 240 or 230 volts coming in here on the split system. So we're gonna have an L1, an L2, a common and a ground. So they're gonna come into the panel here. And what we're doing is we're then using these latching relays to basically act like a switch on both L1 and L2 for the devices. So when you're powering a device like a pump or an air blower separately, you simply put an L1 and an L2 on it to give you that 230 volts and it then will run. So what we're doing is we're, we're then connecting at the top the cables out to the devices. So we'll have L1 and L2 going out. We've got grounds here as well. And there's a common if the device actually needs it. So essentially we've got three switches that are controlled by air buttons that are on the, the top of the, the actual hot tub that's then controlling those devices. And it's gonna be a much easier and cleaner setup for Darren than it is if you wanted to use a spa pack. Now the filter cycles, you know, that's not done by my control box. My control box is, is just for air switches. And surprisingly, the, there wasn't one when we had a look around on the market that we could actually buy that was gonna do this job. So that's exactly why I've built it. 
The filtration cycles, the heating, that's all going to be controlled by the pool pump that's on a, a separate system. So the, the pool pump we will set so that it's going to turn over that water every six hours, which is the recommendation. And then the heating, it'll be controlled by his gas heater that's going to be on the pool pad itself. So my little control box there is going to be the air switches that he can operate from inside of the pool to turn on his bubblers to turn on the jets and to turn on the air blower as well. Now the swim jet has its own air switch inside so you can access that from inside of the pool itself. So it's gonna be a, a pretty cool setup and with a simple control box, we've eliminated a huge amount of cables and a huge amount of headache running them for that 70 feet or so from the, the tub over to the other pool pad. So there's always a DIY solution for your hot tub. Now, I hope you have found this short video useful. Can I help you with your DIY hot tub or plunge pool? Get in touch if I can, hit me up in the comments or get in touch via the blog over at buildahottub.com. As always, I appreciate the view. Thanks ever so much for watching. And I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.